Is she a catfish or not? Damn. <laughs> so we're going to go out to random people and ask them whether they're a catfish or not. Okay. Do you think she's a catfish or not? Oh, is that the same person? Bro. All right, let me tell y'all what it is. In that picture, she don't have the extra chin. In person, she has the extra chin. Y'all and these angles are crazy. Man said, who the bumba clot this? That ain't me, that's, that's your sister, is that? <laughs> <laughs> so oh, that's foul. My mum taught me more, I can't call a girl a catfish, because every girl pretty in their own way, but mm. that's not me still. <laughs> catfish or not? Which one is she? Which one? <laughs> 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 I'm not gassing you up, and I'm not going to deflate you either. You look like a human, yeah? Have a good day. Mmm, that's deep. Oh, that's what you talk. Hey, that's deep. My man said, I'm not gassing you up, but I'm not deflating you neither. I'm stealing that. I am stealing that. But yeah, man, you got to be careful right now in, the, in these day and age. I have an app that I can use to edit videos that I haven't even used yet. I can slim down my chin. I can widen my eyes. I can get rid of the dark spots on my eyes. I can whiten my teeth. I can make myself look like a totally different person. And I know for sure that a lot of these joints that we see on TikTok, Instagram, a lot of these social media bitches, they are pros at using that app. So yeah, you got to be careful out here, man. They catfishing like a mother. I am big on we are not married. Don't tell me what to do. And I'm going to tell you why. And it's not that, oh, you, you in a relationship, you should respect your partner. Because you should. You should respect your partner. You guys should respect each other. But you shouldn't be trying to tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if I have to walk into an office building or if I have to fill out any type of application and mark single and put my last name, that means the only person that get a say so on what I got to do is me. And I'm going to be real. That's just, that's it. I don't know. That's just me. That's how I feel. Until I have a ring on my finger, until I am married, sir, I'm not going to be running every little thing by you. And you just gonna have to accept that. You feel me? I'm gonna do what I wanna do when I wanna do it. And if it's something you don't like, you can express that to me. I feel like this may be my husband one day and I should respect that and I move accordingly out of respect for you, then that's what I'm gonna do. But if I feel like, why the fuck should I be listening to you? Then why the fuck should I be listening to you? Get what I'm saying? But yeah. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I appreciate y'all. Man, if y'all been here for a while, you know this is Miss You Won't Make It Past Three Strokes. I'm a big fan of her videos. Today, I disagree. I 100% disagree. If we're dating, we both should be putting our best foot forward to show that we're marriage material. For me, it would be something that shows that I would be a good provider. I would be a good protector. For you as a woman, it's purely respect. So saying that you're going to do what you want when you want, that kind of contradicts the whole wifey thing. You know what I'm saying? That's like going to a job interview, telling them, I'm not going to put my best foot forward until y'all give me the job. I do understand because I'm from New York also, and I do understand that women from New York do have a, a different type of mentality. It takes a different type of to be with a female from New York. The way she feels, it's a lot of women from my city that feel like that. My thing is, if you don't see this man being your future husband, don't waste his time. Don't play games with him. Don't make him feel like less of a man, because that's exactly what's going to happen. If you got a girl who does not listen to you and she's just going to do whatever the f she wants, at some point in time, your pride is going to get involved. It's going to be like, oh, you, you don't got no control of your woman. She's just out here doing whatever the f she wants. No man wants to hear that. No man wants to feel like that. So my thing is, if he not future hubby, let them go. If you have somebody that could potentially be future hubby, you got to show them that you can be obedient. You got to show them that you can be submissive. You got to show them that you're not going to rob his peace. Because at the end of the day, as a man, all we want is somebody to add to our peace. Can I help you? Yeah, what, are, what are you doing? Excuse me. Why are you at my door? What are you doing? 
Yes, you are. Why are you trying to go into my apartment? I call the police. I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. How much times you gonna say? I'm calling the police. Get away from my door. Get away from my door. I'm calling the police. Alright, I'm calling the police. Yo, he don't care. If there's one thing I hate is a thief. I hate car thieves and I definitely hate cat burglars. The audacity you have to come steal something that I work so hard for. Knock on wood, knock on wood. I pray that I never have to come face to face with somebody attempting to steal my property because I know I'd overreact. The leg is not the problem. It's the top. Regardless, you will never be good enough for people. That's totally fine because I'm not doing it for a fake page. You want me to lose these legs? No. The leg is not the problem. Um, listen to me. Listen to me. I wasn't expecting that. Y'all be sending me these videos because y'all be trying to see me fold on Elon Musk's internet. It ain't gonna happen. I ain't gonna fold. Crazy thing is, bro, I be showing my wife some of these videos and she be agreeing with my reaction. <laughs> she be agreeing with my reaction. You feel me? And I, I love, I love our relationship. I like the type of relationship we have. Even when we outside, she be pointing cheeks out to me. And, you know, she don't get jealous. She she a real one for that. She be pointing it out. She like, did you see that girl? Her shit is fat. Um, but this this woman right here, man, yeah, she definitely eat her breakfast in the morning. I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now, we almost at 100K, man. We almost at 100K. And follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram. Why are you being so um mean to women up here? I'm being mean to women. Because you are. Just because we wear fake hair doesn't mean we're not natural. Like we have natural naturally beautiful skin, naturally beautiful personality. So why are you coming at us? You have a naturally beautiful personality, really? Absolutely. Where's your husband at? <laughs> I don't have a husband. I don't need a man. <laughs> Y'all need us more than anything. So it's funny. Listen, folks, we got somebody up here with a naturally beautiful personality. With a naturally beautiful, she talking about all this natural beauty. She ain't got no husband. Because I don't. Hey, hold on. I'm I'm pretty sure my man has heard this a lot. I thought like it was an AI Kevin Samuels at first. Like I thought like somebody made him younger. This is my first time seeing this, so I'm not gonna take away from his content. I'm not gonna say he biting or nothing like that. But you definitely do resemble Kevin Samuels. I want you. Don't. So self care. Care. I bet you don't. I bet you. I'm, don't. I'm, I'm, I'm turning 26 ne well tomorrow. I'm this turning 26 tomorrow. Care. And I don't need a man don't for nothing. Care. I'm young. I'm beautiful. Good. And yes, we don't care. I don't have to settle for nobody or nothing. That's what we don't care. And I don't care neither. You obviously do care. People are here to see me. Hilarious. And now I'm Oh, he put on mute. They're not here to see you. Nobody's showing up to see you. Mm. No husband, no man. Look, I knew they was going. That's all they got. That's all they can do. The same old jokers. That's all they can do. Before you call in on the show, okay? His show, Kevin Samuel's show, uh, we'll say Fresh and Fit. You go on Fresh and Fit. It's other podcasts and stuff like that. I am pretty sure that you see the way these guys interact with their guests. You know that he's going to find something to comment on. You know his response to your story isn't going to be flattering. Pretty sure you've seen women that come on the show with similar stories to you. So my thing is, why call in? Why call in and then get butt hurt when you get the response that you probably knew you was going to get anyway? No, that's what's black people problem right there. Why she sound like a grown because woman? because I do hair, don't mean I'm about to do your hair for the cheap. And that's just going to be the problem. No, that's not. Well, I'm going to tell that girl, don't do your hair. You can do your own hair however style anyway. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, I feel like doing it. I want her to do it. Exactly. And you don't want to pay the price and you got the money. If that was the case, then I could pay myself to do it. Exactly. So do your own hair. That's what I heard you say. Listen. Listen. Who you listening? Me paying her from doing my hair. 
How that's gonna benefit me? Yo, that gonna be done. You sound crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you sound crazy. You just. Why she sound like a reincarnation of somebody's grandmother? Am I tripping? Moise, if you close the door, you get in block, and we not together. Come again. If you close the door, you get in block, and we're not together. What do you mean I'm getting block and we're not together? Block from where? My phone. For what? Because you closed the door. What does that have to do with me getting in? If you close the door, we're not together no more. Are you no man? What do you mean we're not together and I close the door? So how do you expect me to take what I'm going to take inside? <laughs> the door open if you want your relationship. I should, so, he finna I slam that shit. So I will, I will leave my own car door. Oh, he about to slam that shit. I don't think I know. I even want to pay the car notes. I beg. He <laughs> 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 going crazy. Slammed it too. <laughs> oh man, bro, why she even do that? You know these African niggas is crazy, son. She wildin'. Oh, that is crazy. She's wildin'. She is wildin', dog. Let her ask no. I've seen another video like that. I believe this is a trend now. The girlfriend or the wife would put a stipulation up like, hey, if you eat the rest of this cereal, our relationship is over. I'm gonna be honest with you, y'all better stop playing the same goals. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Y'all better chill out now. This was hilarious, but it could have went another way. Many times we gonna act like having multiple women ain't in a man's nature. The oh, wife is walking oh. out. The wife is here. Oh no, come here. Now I I, I admire your wife because I am a wife. But I'm going to ask you, why is your husband coming up here asking that question? Just, he just wanted to know. But when men say it's in their nature, when men speak on that, it's usually an excuse for their behaviors that they have. And they don't want to acknowledge that. And we're also listening to men who don't even have, they don't even possess the qualities or the character be, to be able to navigate that many women. Facts. For, for my Facts. Hold on. Hold on. Facts. Facts. I agree with that. I agree with that. You know, I talk about how different me and my wife's relationship is. You know, I, I speak about how um, we look at things differently. The topic of having a sister wife has has came up before. Okay? If you've been on this channel for a minute, you have heard us talk about that. You have heard us talk about having a sister wife. And I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't do it. The reason why I wouldn't do it is, and ladies, y'all know this to be true. Y'all are very emotional creatures. And me personally, I don't feel as though I have the capacity to deal with two wives. I don't have the uh, emotional capacity to deal with two wives. Can I afford it? Hell, motherfucking yeah, I could afford it. Would it be fun? I'm pretty sure it would be fun. You feel what I'm saying? I'll be doing drive-bys throughout the house. But nah, mentally I couldn't deal with that. From a woman's perspective, though. They don't. From a woman's perspective. No, I'm, I'm speaking for the men who are usually having this conversation. The men online who are usually having this conversation are not the ones who can even, who even qualify to have multiple women to take care of them. When we when we talk about no, let me let me let me just say this real quick. When we talk about having multiple women, we are not talking about financial provision. We are talking about women. That means that you have the emotion, you have to have the emotional capacity, the emotional intent to deal with multiple. Yo, yo, hold on, yo. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I love it when I say something in response to a video, and then they come back and pretty much solidify what the. F I'll say. I'll be feeling like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs>
I ain't gonna lie. I be feeling like I know. It be feeling like a checkmate, bro. I just said that. I just said that shit. Just to deal with multiple women, different layers. When we talk about women and motherhood, this comes with different responsibilities, different needs and things like that. Mm. And most men don't have that. Facts. The most of the men who are speaking on this are selfish men who are simply just trying to have women for their own selfish needs. She's speaking facts. I've seen a lot of polygamy content on Elon Musk internet. It's admirable, but I just know I couldn't do it. I couldn't do polygamy, and I couldn't do polygony. Crazy thing is, I didn't know there was a difference at first. You feel me? I just thought it was polygamy. But polygamy is when you and your woman be out here in these streets. I definitely can't do that. Now, <laughs> I don't want to offend nobody, but ain't nobody tapping my wife's cheeks but me. Polygony is one man, multiple women. And I'm going to be real with you. I wouldn't do that neither. Like I said, I don't have the emotional capacity to deal with two women. I honestly feel as though them two bitches would drive me crazy. So no, I'm not doing that. It look good. You might feel like the man, you know. I feel as though a lot of dudes aspire to do that because they, they want to feel like the man. When my wife had brought it up to me, it was more so it takes a village. That was her thing. It takes a village. Two women helping to raise a family and this, that, and the third, and ah, da, da, da. But nah, I'm not, I'm not with that. I'm definitely not with that, cuz. I agree with her. I do feel as though a lot of the dudes that I hear talking about this online, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but I'm judging. A lot of y'all niggas are not emotionally mature to deal with what comes with having two wives.